Alright, here we have a Gateway Solo 9550. It's got a bad screen, or a bad display, it's very dim. Took some damage in shipping. Got some shipping here. The battery, which is here. See, that fell off. This battery was off. This locking tab was off. I don't think he pulled the battery, it was just flopping in the wind in the, one of those uh, prepaid boxes. Has a 3.5 inch floppy drive. It's got a CD DVD RW here. This was also broken off. You can see it's missing pieces. It wasn't even packaged, just a couple pieces of paper, and that was it. Because it's Windows 98, but there's no OS on the hard drive. It did come with a copy of Linux Backtrack here, Backtrack 3. So we know that. Uh, CD drive works because it booted from the disk. But when I took the disk out, it uh, said no no uh, OS. It's got a dead CMOS battery too. So it beeped at me for that. Locking button here. If I can do this with one hand, slide it to open it. Intel inside, Pentium 3. Button buttons, power, volume, mute. Displays, shortcuts, email, internet. It's got both a modem and ethernet. Got your tracking pad. Button, 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 button. Got the media buttons down here. Stop, play, fast forward, rewind, all that stuff. A lot of thoughts of volume there too. You can press both of them to mute. that too. Now the display is very very dim. So it's obviously either needs a new screen or it could be the drivers or the circuitry. You know, I don't know. I got a diagnostic disc in here that JK18 sent me. It took me two tries to get to make it bootable. Ended up using a uh, power to go which is from the Windows 7 machine to burn it. I tried Win I ISO and I didn't like it. So, without further ado, let's plug it in and see what the camera will show. Now it's plugged in, battery light is on for its charging, whether it holds a charge or not, I don't know. I haven't tried it with the battery in. Power on, then we'll go to F2 and enter BIOS. It's got a 30 gigabyte hard drive. System changes, F2. Here it's spinning up. System C must check some bad. Default configuration used. F2. The BIOS. System time. That. It's not dim, dim. I mean, it's not terribly bad, but you ain't gonna play no games on it. Disk at A, 1.44 megabyte, 3.5 inch, 3005 megabyte hard drive, which is 30, gig 30 gigabytes. IDE adapter 1, CD DVD drive, NTSC LCD. 511 megabytes of RAM, no mouse, quick book mode enabled, quiet boot enabled, advanced, plug and play, yes, legacy USB support enabled, large disk access mode DOS, battery auto learning disabled, security, password on boot, blah 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 blah, power, Set the boot to the CD DVD ROM first, then first hard drive. Well, two would be removable devices. It just went dim again. You got CD, you got DVD, then removable devices, which would be like boot to USB, and first hard drive, second, and then LAN. processor does it have look it up it's not showing me let's exit and then we'll run the diagnostic software see what this thing does now it's doing tests took a while to boot in
Still testing the memory. It's on memory uh, number two right now. Testing the video driver right now. Video memory inversion tree passed. So now we're in the video memory. I think we got a bad hard drive. Hard drive one quick read failed. Not looking good for the hard drive. Non destruct write failed too. So hard drive shit. That probably explains why there's no OS. It can't read the hard drive. The hard drive's installed. That's why it says it's got 30,000 megabytes. It's a 30 gigabyte drive. There's one installed, but it's defective. When I bought this, he's, the guy said he, he couldn't test it because he didn't have the charger for it. So I bought a charger and it powers up. Screen's like 50% brightness. It's readable. But I need at least I need a hard drive. A new screen's about 90 bucks. If I do it myself, we'll see what the hard, see what the diagnostic check says. If it's worth putting that type of money into it or not. All right, here's the scorecard. I think the fail was the hard drive. Stress passed. Yeah, well, let me go that way. So I assume this is all the tests it did. Everything passed except the hard drive, so... So I just gotta get a hard drive for it. Any other tests it does, or is that all of them? Main menu. Immediate burn-in testing is what it did. We got an advanced diagnostic tests. Immediate burn-in, deferred. Let's do advanced. Processor, memory, motherboard, hard disk, optical drives. So, let's start. Run the whole thing. So I'm not going to bore you with details. We'll Come back when stuff happens. Line control test, handshake test, loopback test, and internal FIFO test failed. Probably because there's nothing hooked up to them. As far as like data and stuff, so that doesn't really mean anything. Now we're going to do system stress test. We're going to do the f standard full test, which is 20 minutes. So we'll come back with the results on that. Now, for some reason now, all of a sudden, it, just, it keeps shutting itself down. I was running that other test, then it just shut down, hit power button, turn it back on, then it shut back down. I put the cooling pad on it because it was kind of hot. I don't know if it's overheating and shutting down now or something fried on it now. What's the problem? I'll take the battery out in case that's an issue and try again. Now this stupid thing keeps shutting down on me. So I re-ran the burn-in test, because I have to rerun that in order to get to the other stress test, but same results. Everything passed except the hard drive. So you can see quick read test, quick read verify test, non-destruct write test, and the internal catch test on the hard drive all failed. Everything else passed. So I'll get a hard drive for it. I found a screen, either 15.7 or 15 inch, comes with the LCD display, the housing, the hinges, the inverter, and the cable, 100 bucks plus shipping. But I gotta wait and see if I can get it up and running first with an operating system before I decide to put a screen on it. Fan's blowing out hot air and it's cycling on and off, so apparently it's cooled down enough now. Did some research, because there's a thermal switch in here on the CPU. It overheats, it shuts the system down to prevent damage. Took the battery out, got it on a cooling pad, one single 7 inch fan, plugged into the USB port to blow air, and this one blows air into the system. So, battery's out to get more airflow into it. Appears to have cooled it down because it made it through this test. So at one point the fan actually cycled off. 
apparently it's cooled down a bit. I'll let it rest for a little bit and then I'll uh, start the main stress test again and see if we can make it through that. We run the stress test. Yeah, we know the hard drive shit. So the hard drive component has failed. Yeah, you know. Enter. Hard disk. So the stress test failed only because of the hard drive. Press enter to continue. So I can't complete it because of the hard drive. But no big deal. Everything else checks out on here, so... I'll get a hard drive for it. And I think I'm going to try a Haiku operating system. According to requirements, it needs at least a Pentium 2 500 megahertz processor. This has a Pentium 3 1 gigahertz. I think 128 megabytes of RAM. 1 gigabyte hard drive, so... So far what I see from the specs, this should run Haiku. It's supposed to be a fun little experiment machine. So other than the hard drive, it passed. So I'll order a hard drive for it, and then we'll uh, revisit this one later on down the line. Now I got an older version of a PC check that J sent me, and running the hard drive test some more. And we're showing several read failures. Because the 8 has that auto burden and I can't figure out how to bypass it to get into the smart test. The smart test said fast was like a two second test. It's like a couple smart things but it says they're not compatible with this disc. If I run that again. So I'm just going to do a full test of the hard drive. I got one ordered. Not to read failures, but it looks like it's only one sector, but too many lines or memory exhausted. List to and Kaden. Press enter to continue. Read test. I didn't do anything. I'll try the destructive right test and it didn't even try. It just failed it immediately. I, at less than eight seconds. So that didn't even work. I could try the non-destructive right test. Failed that too. Is the smart test as it's called. Failed. So after doing the other test, now I just reran the smart test, it failed. So yeah, it needs a hard drive. Alright, it's gonna be kinda hard to see, but I found the CMOS battery on the Gateway Solo 9550. That's it right there. It's a Maxwell, Maxell. ML1220 3 volt rechargeable button cell battery. To access it, pop off the uh, button panel very gently, to remove two screws, and lift the keyboard up. So I'm going to order a new CMOS battery. And let's just get the time and date working. But meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and replace the hard drive, and I'm going to see if I can get. Haiku operating system on here. If not, I'll go with Ubuntu, but I'm going to try Haiku first because that will work best on this type of system. So I'll put it back together for now and show you how to replace the hard drive. 